2024 NBA Mock Draft prospects. Bronny James is a top 10 pick. What do you think about that? I love it. He's a legitimate McDonald's All-American. James has grown, filled out his frame, found another gear with his explosiveness. Yeah, I'm going to see what, what, what everybody been talking about. Bronny's okay, man. Bronny's good defensively. Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan. I saw him as a basketball player. Bronny James is different. Nobody's drafting a lottery pick who's 6'2", because he's great defensively. Is he a starter? No. Is he a rotation player? No. Is he a bench guy? There are people who question the legitimacy of rankings. What exactly has Bronny become? Never going to be in the same sentence as LeBron James. I do not believe that LeBron James Jr. is better than any current NBA player. Does Bronny start or come off the bench? If who? Bronny. <laughs> <laughs> On March 6, 2023, at 11.43 p.m., LeBron James tweeted out, Man, Bronny definitely better than some of these cats I've been watching on League Pass today. Lightweight, hilarious. The very next morning, on March 7th, on three recruits tweeted this. New, Bronny James ranks number nine and five star in the latest 2023 on three 50. Quite a coincidence and immediately, a firestorm of media coverage came. LeBron James' son was now a five star. Only was he? Because according to the website 247 Sports, a site that takes a composite ranking of multiple recruiting websites and puts them together for one final ranking, Bronny James is still a four star recruit and just the number 33 player in the nation. Which is strange because ESPN just produced projected Brownie to be a top 10 pick in the 2024 draft. And guys, I'm very, very excited to share with you. I have a brand new channel named Coors Light where I am doing three two minute segments every single video. And on Coors Light 3, the three segments we just did included an old school, not human segment. We are on a grind to get to 10,000 subscribers there. I really want it to succeed. So I really want your honest feedback as well. I really appreciate you go watching Coors Light number three. It will be linked below. But for now, let's Let's get into Bronny James. Bronny James is a McDonald's All-American, something that seemed an absolute certainty because his projected current NIL value is $7.2 million, which also means Bronny's name is certainly bringing in the big bucks. But is it just his name that is causing this attention? Is it just because he is LeBron James' son that he is a projected top 10 pick? Or does Bronny deserve everything and instead is headed on the path that I'm sure we all truly would love to see a real top 10 pick in the NBA and a future star. So I wanted to dive in myself and find out, is Bronny worth the hype? And so I figured there were two pretty foolproof ways to look into this. The first being to compare Bronny's current stats against a recent number nine recruit on 247 Sports. The second, of course, is we have to dive into the game tape here. So I went to YouTube, I searched Bronny's name, and I went through every single game I could find because I know that the last time I watched Bronny. I'm not going to mince words here. I did not think he was a projected top 10 pick. What I said in my last videos was I thought that he was a potential second round pick and that if he continued to grow as a player, I thought that he would become an NBA role player. And my last video on Bronny was not that long ago. So to hear he was suddenly now a top 10 pick was pretty eye popping for me, which meant I had to know, is the hype worth it? And on the stat sheet right away, here are Bronny's final season stats for his senior year. Bronny averaged 14.2 points points per game, 5.5 rebounds per game, 2.4 assists per game, and 1.8 steals per game. Now, those are stats that, to me at least, do not exactly look incredible, especially the assists when we hear so much about Brownie's passing and his teamwork. Also, recently, Syracuse guard Joe Girard averaged 50 points per game in his senior season. So I understand that if guys like Joe Girard are out here averaging 50, why is Brownie, a projected top 10 pick, only averaging 14.2? However, looking at the number nine player in the class of 2021, Kennedy Chandler's senior season stats, we see Chandler averaged 14.8 points, 4.2 rebounds, and 3.3 steals a game, which really just tells us that on stacked high school basketball teams with sometimes questionable coaching, there can be so much talent that in terms of pure numbers, everyone sacrifices on the stat sheet, especially if your school is a bit more iso ball based. Even Amari Bailey, Bronny's teammate who had an incredible stat-stuffing junior season, averaged 18.5 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 2.6 assists 
this a game in his senior season. And when we dive into the actual games, what we see is what I would say a four-star prospect, but a top 30-ish guy. I'm right there with 247 Sports Real Ranking. I think that one is way more fair. Bronny has his strengths for sure. He is a great on-ball defender and a very willing defender. He's also someone who is able to cover the court very well. This combination mixed with his very evident increase in athleticism, as well as his very evident increase in skill set, to me, it does indicate that he can fill a role in the NBA as right now, now, at least a rotational piece. The draft comparison of DeAnthony Melton has been thrown around a lot lately, and that feels right. But DeAnthony Melton was the 46th pick of the draft, and he had to grind to get where he is today. But where he is today is a big time piece of the 76ers success. Does Bronny have it in him to continue this grind? Once he gets to college, is he going to continue to put his head down and work? Then once he gets to the NBA, is he going to work even harder? because Bronny does have weaknesses. We cannot ignore the fact that Bronny does struggle to put up points sometimes and that practically every scouting report you will read will label him as a passive player at times. I also really feel like it cannot be understated that despite Bronny's athleticism, he's struggled to put up points at times because he struggles to create separation off the dribble at times. It appears that for whatever reason, his blow by ability to get to the rim or his ability to create space off off the dribble is just lacking, which combined with his passiveness does call into question if he is ready offensively for an NBA role. With that said, Bronny has continued to improve his standstill jump shot. So my final thoughts here are that it's not like Bronny is wildly far away from a five-star player. Top 10 right now is a stretch, I would say. I feel like that's probably a clear media play in order to drum up some hype for Bronny and for that recruiting website. Personally, I've got to say with a lot of this stuff, the number nine label, the projected top 10 pick, I feel for Bronny. The pressure on him as a teenager is absurd. It is possible that that pressure is more than the pressure LeBron himself felt when he was told he'd be a failure if he did not make the NBA Hall of Fame. How does it feel to know that if you're not eventually a Hall of Fame caliber player, it's not good enough to be good or an all-star. If you're not eventually a first rank Hall of Famer, a lot of people will say you were a bust or overhyped. So the final verdict for me here is that I do believe Bronny is on the path to make the NBA. I do believe he has the work ethic to get there. And I do believe he has the mindset to continue to grind once he gets to the league. The reason I believe this is that Bronny has shown a tremendous improvement already, and he has been famous his entire life. He has also been LeBron James' son his entire life. So the money has been there as well. It is quite clear that Bronny is chasing his own legacy here, and I have the ultimate respect for that. I also would really hope that LeBron James, as his father, would be able to evaluate his own son's potential because if LeBron did not actually believe in Bronny in this way, it would be wildly reckless to hype him up to the entire world. So are people using Bronny's name right now? Are they inflating his draft ranking possibly to get clicks? Probably, but Bronny did just have a great senior season. We we have seen the improvement. Now, will we see if he can be a great draft prospect in college? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, remember, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. But also, Coors Light number three is up. We are on our schedule grind there. It would be awesome if you went and watched the video, gave your feedback, and if you liked the video, helped us on our grind to 10,000 subscribers. Again, guys, thank you for everything. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day. And cue that. Music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think, and again, have an awesome day.